Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 37th Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to carry on with our to-do app and we're going to hook it up to the database. Alright then, so in the last tutorial we hooked up our application to the database. We connected to it right there with the help of Mongoose. Then we created a schema and we also created a model or a collection if you like and then we added an item to that collection right here. We saved it. Now in this tutorial, what I want to do is alter these requests right here, get, post and delete so that they're interacting with the database rather than this dummy data we created right here. So first of all, let's comment out that junk. We're not going to use that anymore. And secondly, I'm going to get rid of this because we don't want a new item creating and adding to the database every time we start this application. We don't want that. So let's get rid of that as well. I'm going to keep the schema and the collection or model because we're going to use that down here in the code. All right, so let's work through these one at a time. So this one right here, what do we need to do? This is the get request. So what we need to do here is get data from MongoDB and pass it to the view. Okay, so right here, when we say render a view, we're passing it this object and we're using this data variable right here to pass through to the view. Now that was this thing right here, but now we're not using that. Now we need to get it from MongoDB itself. So how do we do that? Well, all we need to do is specify, first of all, which model or collection we want to get it from. And we created that model right here. We want it to be the to-do model, okay? So let's grab that. And then second of all, we add on a method called find. Now, the find method can go out to a collection and find either all the items in that collection or particular items in that collection. We want all the items in it, so what we need to do is pass through an empty object like that. And that's going to go out and it's going to retrieve all of the items in this to-do collection. If we wanted to, uh, to find a specific item, then we just pop in which item we want to find. So we'd say something like item um, by flowers. And that's going to find this item in this collection if it exists okay so like I say we want to return all the items right here everything that's stored in the database so I'm just going to pass through that empty object and that's going to do it for us okay this also takes another parameter which is a callback function and in this function we're going to pass through an error and also the data that we retrieve okay so down here what we want to do first of all is say if there's an error We'll just throw the error and then underneath we're going to render this view so I'm going to grab it from there and pop it there and we're going to pass through the data to that view okay so we're getting the data right here no longer is this the data the data is now what is returned to us right here after we use this find method okay so we're finding all the items in that collection and it's returning to us the data right here so we're just passing it now through the view and then the view is going to work exactly the same as it would do if we had this array of data okay pretty simple right so now we've done the get one we can move on to the put uh, the post request and again this is going to be pretty simple let's just write a comment what we need to do we need to get data from the view and add it to MongoDB, okay? So that's what we need to do. So what I'll do first of all is create a new variable, and this is gonna be called new to do. And I'm gonna set that equal to to do. Remember, this is what we did when we created a new to do item up here and then added it to the database. We're doing the same thing here, all right? So we're creating a new to do item. So in this, we're going to get the item, remember, from request.body because that's where we're passing it to. So I'll grab it from there and pop it in there. And that's going to add an item to this to-do collection with this schema. Okay, so it's going to look something like this item that we're passing through on the request.body. So we're going to pass that through to there. Then we're going to save it to the database. And remember, we take a callback function here with an error and the data and if there's an error I'm going to throw the error and then I'm going to say response.json and I'm going to pass the updated data 
back to the view. Okay, so now we no longer need this. So how simple is that? Easily, we're just creating new items and saving them to the database. Okay. All right, so the third one, which is the ever so slightly more complex one, which is the delete request. We'll write another comment again to say what we need to do. We need to just delete the requested item from MongoDB, okay? So let's come down here and first of all say to do, that's the collection we wanna find items from. And we're gonna say dot find, and we're gonna find whichever item we want to delete. And the item is stored there, okay? So all I wanna do is find an item which is equal to this thing right here. So I'll say item request dot params dot item. And then I'm gonna say dot replace. And the thing I want to replace is gonna be this. I'll explain this in a second. G and we're replacing it with a space. Okay, so we're just replacing the hyphens here with a space. And then we're going to look for this in the to-do collection. We're going to find the item, okay? And I'm replacing hyphens with a space because when it comes through as a URL, it has hyphens between the uh, hyphens between the words, not spaces. Okay, so it's going to look for this item then in this collection. And once it finds it, we're just going to remove it. So we can say dot remove like that. Oops, not in capitals. Remove. And then we also get another callback function again with the error on the data and what we're going to do is say if there's an error we're going to throw that error and then we're going to say response.json and pass through that updated data that's returned to us from this collection all right so it deletes it then passes back the updated data so let's get rid of this stuff now down here and that is pretty much it. Now we've hooked up all the functionality to the database rather than just this dummy data. So if we run this now, I'm gonna say nodemon app, and I'm gonna run this in a browser. And first of all, what I'm gonna do, this is my database currently on MongoDB, and it's got those items in by flowers which started up when we started up, sorry, which were added when we started up this um, application in the last tutorial. So I'm going to delete those first of all. Delete, yep. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to go to this application forward slash to do, and there's nothing in there at the minute. That's because we don't have any items in this collection. So we can add a new item. I'm going to say by flowers. I'm going to add that on, and it's added right here. So now if we refresh over here, we should see that in the database as well. Okay, cool. Let's say create um, an Angular JS two tut add item. All right, let's have a look what it does over here. Cool. Now we've got that, and we can also delete items if I click on them, and it deletes it. And if we refresh over here, should be deleted from that collection. Cool. All right, so there we go, guys. We have successfully connected up all of our functionality to the database, and now we have a fully functioning to-do app. All right, so that pretty much concludes this beginner's Node.js playlist. I hope it's not been a complete waste of your time and that you have learned a few things along the way. Uh, I am going to be doing more Node.js related tutorials in the future on this channel. Namely, I'm going to be looking at MongoDB in a bit more depth. We've just kind of scratched the surface in this tutorial playlist. So I want to create a whole mini series on this. Uh, next, I'm going to be creating a mean stack app from scratch. And mean is just an acronym for a group of technologies we're going to use to make that application. So that's MongoDB, Express, Angular 2, and Node. I'm also going to be looking at unit testing with Mocha because unit testing is an important uh, kind of area when you come to deploy your applications. And also, I'm going to be looking at WebSockets too, which is to do with real-time interactions for features such as instant chat messaging and that kind of thing. So I'm going to be looking at all these things in the future. So this is by no means the end of the Node.js tutorials. Uh, but yeah, I hope this tutorial series has been of some use to you, and I'm going to see you in the very next one.